Hello, Birdie. Today I have an HVAC related video for all of you. And this particular HVAC video that I'm going to be sharing with all of you is a startup of our Heil gas powered furnace. So before we get to everything else, I am going to show you the main components that rely on this furnace. So here's the inside of the furnace. I just took off the cover and here are a couple of very important components in order for you to have a, you know, warm house throughout the heating season, winter, or whatever you want to call it. So right here is a draft inducing motor. This thing is really strong. So here's the wheel, obviously. Let me go ahead and just share that, that it spins. This thing spins at very high RPM. It spins at around 3000 RPM. This right here is a vacuum switch. Basically, that determines whether or not the gases will be sucked out of the heat exchanger while the heat exchanger is warming up. So, that's that. So, this basically has to spin at high speed in order for the rest of the components of the furnace to work. So, it has a, uh, I think it's like a quarter of an inch motor shaft right here. Don't want to really think about that too much. Moving on down, we have our gas valve. Basically what the job of this thing, it's supposed to, you know, let gas flow into the burners. So that's the main job of that. And right here is where all the magic occurs. So as you can see right here, this thing right here is a flame sensor. Basically, what the job of that is to detect whether or not a flame is present. If a flame isn't present for like five or seven seconds, it shuts off the furnace. So, you know, it doesn't like, you know, so you don't get hurt or anything. And of course, right here is the gas pipeline. And that basically goes down to the burners right here. And then therefore, inside those holes, that's the heat exchanger. And basically, you want to have a regular natural blue flame coming from the burners. If you see, like, you know, a dancing flame or a flame rollout, then you know you have a bad heat exchanger. But I've seen this furnace start up many times in my life. Basically, I've seen a lot of blue flames without any, you know, issues or anything like that. So this furnace is still in good shape. I don't know when this furnace was made, though. It was probably made, like, in 2007 or something. So, anywho, there is one other component that is basically very important. Now, the question is, how the heck can you get a flame without, you know, any ignition sequence? So, as you can see right here, this wire right here, you see this right here? This is a hot surface igniter. Basically, this thing glows when it's warming up, and it's actually really bright, too. It's like an incandescent lamp, and this is the wire that goes to it. So if the igniter goes bad, you can obviously, you know, change it out, this plug right here, and then you can get a brand new igniter online. So basically, that's the hot surface igniter. It'll glow for an, uh, a good amount of time, and then that is how the flames establish. That's how the flames, you know you know, produce its color and stuff like that, which I think is pretty awesome. So, um, the starting sequence of this furnace is the first thing that happens is the draft inducer motor turns on. It spins at high RPM. This detects whether or not the uh, vacuum switch uh, is present. This is the vacuum switch. And if it closes, then the rest of the starting sequence uh, goes. So... After the vacuum switch closes, it turns on the hot surface igniter for a brief amount of time. And then once that happens, you'll hear a click. That's from the gas valve. And then the gas valve will open up the rest of the gas pipeline. And then it flows through these three burners here. And then basically, the igniter goes off, glows for a little bit. And then the flames turn on and do the work. And then after a brief amount of time, the blower motor kicks in. So I am going to go ahead and start this furnace up. So 
And this is honestly one of the weirdest starting sequences that you'll ever see in a furnace. The draft inducer motor kicks on, and of course the vacuum switch closes. And what's also weird is that the blower fan motor, which pushes all of that air through the home, it turns on before the igniter, which I find very strange. And then another thing to note, the uh, blower fan motor turns off, then the igniter flicks on, burners go on, and then after a brief amount of time, the blower fan motor kicks back on, which I find to be very, very strange, but also unique in a way. So, without further ado, enough of me rambling and talking. Let's get this furnace turned on. Nice startup from the draft inducer. So the blower fan motor turns on. There's the hot surface igniter. See that? There's the draft inducer. Vacuum switch is closed. The igniter turns on. You'll hear a click from the gas valve. And then it establishes a flame. And you're supposed to have blue flames without any, any sort of like, you know, yellow tips even though there's a even though there's like a small amount of yellow tips that's totally okay but if you have like a flame rollout then that's where the trouble is so right now we have a good heat exchanger because there are blue flames and there is no sort of yellow flames so as you just heard there was a little click and the blower fan motor should kick on and now it is pumping the air throughout the home. And that is how a furnace turns on. So I really hope you enjoyed this video of a Heil gas furnace turning on. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all very much for watching.